Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyana Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam amma ba'd I wanted to review and bring some fawaid from Allama Muhammad bin Salih bin Uthaymeen rahimahullah ta'ala related to Iman, Iman Billah and in general, in relation, these are principles related to al asmai wa sifat, to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's divine names and attributes. What is an obligation uh, upon the Muslim to believe? And this is the, these are uh, the principles of Ahl Sunnati wal Jama'ah. This is what Shaykh al Islam is referring to when he says that uh, we describe Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as he describes himself subhanahu wa ta'ala. Qala Shaykh al Islam, wa anna min al imani billahi al imana bima wasafa bihi nafsuhu. Very important, very imperative, this principle. And from believing. From Iman Billah, believing in Allah, part of this Iman is that to have belief, strong, firm belief in what Allah described, how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala described himself, what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said about himself in the Quran. That's an obligation on every Muslim. So and when you when you really look at the people of Ta'wil as they call themselves, or the people of uh, of uh, Ta'til or, or all the different sects that went astray with Al-Asma wa Sifat whether it be the Jahmiya, the Mu'tazila the Asha'ira, the Maturidiya um, the Karamita and, and the various Sufi groups that have Ash'ari Creed and, and so forth all of them it's as if they're saying we know Allah said that he has, uh, that he rose above his throne, but no, 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 he doesn't rise above his throne. Or we know that Allah says that he has hands, but no, 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 he doesn't have hands. They negated in some way, and we spoke about this when we talked about the types of ilhad, and we spoke about this in one of our, uh, maybe perhaps the fourth or fifth lesson when we referred to uh, those groups and how they uh, negate, how they negate. Uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's uh, the meaning of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's divine sifat subhana so it's imperative that Ahl Sunnah we, we just go with taslim we accept what how Allah and what, what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said about himself describing Allah as he described himself Okay, that's what Ahl Sunnah believes, and it's not possible, as Sheikh Al Lama bin Uthaymeen rahimahullah Taala he said, and it's not possible, mustahil, that uh, Allah would describe Himself, and it ha and His description of Himself would have no meaning, or that it would need to be changed. La yumkin. All those verses which describe Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and we're going to get in depth because Shaykh al Islam ibn Taymiyyah, that's what the bulk of this treatise is about. Is he's, he's given you ample evidence from the Quran and then the Sunnah. He breaks it down so concise, so precise, as, an, you know, as he is properly denote, uh, referred to as Shaykh al Islam ibn Taymiyyah. His book, he gets precise and he breaks it down and gives you from the Quran, from the Sunnah, what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says about himself. And we know that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, what he said, he was not a liar, he did not uh, speak from his hawa and he, or from his desires, and he, subha he sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, what he spoke was wahi. It was revelation. So the first thing, the first principle we said from Iman is describing Allah as he described himself. The second principle, Allah's attributes are from the affairs of the unseen, obligatory to believe. It's an obligation for us to believe the, uh, in, in the, uh, the ghayb as we mentioned, as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Surah Al-Baqarah and all throughout the Quran, Alif la a'udhu billah min shaytan rajim bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, Alif la mim, thalik al-kitab la rayba fi hudin lil-muttaqeen. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, thalik, after Alif la mim, thalik al-kitab la rayba fi. Don't have any doubt about the Quran. 
That that is the book which in the, wherein there is no doubt. Aladina you Alif Lam Mim Valik al Kitab al Ariba fi Hudin lil Muttaqin. It's a guidance for the Muttaqin, those who have taqwa. Aladina you minun. الَّذِينَ يُؤْمِنُونَ بِمَا أُنزِلَ إِلَيْكَ وَمَا أُنزِلَ مِنْ قَبْلُ بِالْآخِرَةِهُمْ يُقِنُونَ They believe in the Akhirah. They believe in what came before them. الَّذِينَ يُؤْمِنُونَ بِالْغَيْبِ وَيُقِمُونَ الصَّلَاةِ Those people who believe in the ghayb. They believe in the unseen and they establish the prayer as we hear the Adhan right now, which we will shortly leave to establish the prayer. الَّذِينَ يُؤْمِنُونَ بِالْغَيْبِ And that's the shahid here. Those who believe in ghayb. And at the end of the verse, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, أُولَئِكَ هُمُ الْمُفْلِحُونَ That they are the muflihun, they are the successful ones. So part of being successful, part of, part of being Ahl Sunnati wal Jama'ah, part of being followers of the Prophet sallallahu part of being Ahl Iman, is believing in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's attributes. Uh, as, as they came in the Quran and the Sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and knowing that those are the affairs of the unseen, that's Amur al Okay, you wouldn't have come upon those asma'i wa sifat just by sitting in your room, closing the door, turning off the lights, making dhikr, uh, you know, and then you, you were going to receive revelation. No. Or secluding yourself in a cave. No. This came from wahi. This came to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in the form of the Quran, kalam Allah, the speech of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and from his authentic sunnah, alayhi salatu wa salam. This is how we know what uh, about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's divine names and attributes. The third principle is that from Iman is that we do not refer to Allah except by what He referred to. Okay, we only refer to Allah. We restrict the divine names and attributes. They're tokifiyah, as as uh, the ulama say. The the names of Allah are tokifiyah that they have. Uh, they're they're fixed that we cannot just make up names for Allah, the Almighty, the Creator of the heavens and earth. La. We take those divine names and attributes, which uh, we which are are referred to in the Quran or the authentic Sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam, and we stop there. This is the minhaj of Ahl Sunnah. Ahl Sunnah they stop where the text stops, and may Allah bless us to be from Ahl Sunnah. Amin. So Ahl Sunnah they do not re- they uh, we only refer to Allah subhanahu wa taala except by what He referred to Himself Subhana. The fourth qaida or principle is that obligation, it's an obligation to accept the apparent meaning of the text. Ahl Sunnah, they accept the apparent meaning of the text. That uh, this is a, a minhaj or a methodology in usul. That Ahl Sunnah, and this is the madhab of the Sahaba, radiallahu ta'ala anhu majma'in, is that they accepted the apparent meaning unless the Prophet wasallam explained to them that there was, that the meaning was not as they thought. And there's ample evidence of this uh, all throughout the Quran, but this is not the time and place for us to get that in depth, but it's sufficient for us to know in this dars. Uh, for the sh- for the sake of uh, being uh, short and precise, to know that there's ample evidence in the in the Quran uh, and and in the Sunnah where the Prophet wasallam described, um, you know, uh, those, those exceptions. But the the asl is is that the, uh, there's an obligation to accept the apparent meaning of the text. That's the asl, that's the, the foundation. However, the asha'ira and many of the usuliyun, unfortunately, because many of them had ashari creed, uh, or at least they were affected by ashari creed. Maybe they weren't khalis ashari, but many of them at one point in, in time, they uh, were... They had aspects of the Ashari Creed, especially with regards to Al Asma'i wa Sifat, and they believe the Arabic language that there was Zahir, uh, there was Haqiqa wa Majazi, and this is also another huge bab that we don't want to get into. But Shaykh al Islam ibn Taymiyyah and his student Ibn al Qayyum, Shaykh al Islam, that uh, they believed and re- you know, strongly refute with evidence that there's no Majaz in the Arabic language. Uh, but again, this is not the place to get in depth in those uh, those um, issues. 
The fifth uh, principle, or le- le- actually, we'll we'll stop with a a statement of Imam Ahmed. قال Imam Ahmed لا يوسف الله إلا بما وصف به نفسه أو وصفه به رسوله صلى الله عليه وسلم لا يتجاوز القرآن والحديث Imam Ahmed رحمه الله تعالى one of the four imams that the Ummah of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam uh, holds to be one of the four fuqaha and one of the great imams of the sunnah and one of those who loves and one of those to be followed. That he was a mujtahid mutlaq, those four imams. Rahimahumallahu jami'an. Rahimahumallah jami'an. Meaning, Imam Abu Hanifa, Imam uh, Shafi'i, Imam or Imam Malik, Imam Shafi'i, wa Imam Ahmed, rahimahumullah, rahimahumullah, jami'an. So, this statement of Imam Ahmed, he said, Do not describe Allah except by what he described himself or that his messenger, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, described him with. Do not go beyond the Qur'an and the Hadith. That statement seems so simplistic. But in fact, it's so profound and so full of meaning. That simplifies our madhab, our minhaj. The minhaj of Ahlul Sunnati wal Jama'ah is not going beyond Kitab Allah wa Sunnat Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam. And we'll end with a beautiful statement. We're go- in the next dars, we're going to talk about the fifth and the sixth because they require... Uh, us to study in depth and go into the explanation of Bin Uthaymeen in depth to get those beautiful examples that that Alam Rabbani Rahimahullah Ta'ala gave us. But I want to end with a beautiful statement of our Shaykh, Shaykh Muqbal bin Hadi al Wadi, Allah Yarhamahu. He said, Dawah to Ahl Sunnah. He said, Dawah to Ahl Sunnah, who a Dawah, Min Kitabillah, Illa Kitabillah. Women Sunnati Rasulillah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam Ila Sunnati Rasulillah Sallallahu Alaihi Wala Alihi Wasallam. The Shaykh said that our dawah, the dawah of Ahl Sunnah, the dawah of the Salaf al Sali, the Dawah of Salafi Salafiyun, the dawah of those people who adhere to Kitabillah wa Sunnah to Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, their dawah, their propagation, their madhab, their minhaj is what? Their methodology for understanding Islam is that they call, when they're, they're dawah, what, the, what do they call to? They call from the Qur'an to the Qur'an and from the Sunnah to the Sunnah. This is what they call to. They call, they use the Qur'an and the Sunnah as their masdar. That's how they understand Islam. They come from Qur'an, Kitab Allah, were from Sunnah to Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa ala alihi wa sallam, and they call the people to that. That's our madhab. That's how we understand al-asma wa sifat. That's how we understand the manners and, and the way we propagate Islam. That's on, uh, how we understand uh, how to seek knowledge and what knowledge is. That's how we understand all those affairs of the religion, a fiqh ibadat. That's how we understand jurisprudence. That's how we understand the jurisprudence of, of worship and the jurisprudence, the fiqh of mu'amalat on how to deal with one another, how to, how to buy and sell, how we marry and divorce, how we uh, people inherit, uh, inherit from one another. Uh, 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 Earth, and how people, how, how jihad is legislated. All of those things come from what? From Kitab Allah wa Sunnah to Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Not from Sheikh Kabani. Not from Sheikh uh, Ashiri Fulani. Not from Sheikh Sufi Kabani. Or Kabab. Or whoever. No. It comes from Kitab Allah wa Sunnah to Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. That's the asl. And I advise myself. And I advise my brothers and sisters. Anyone who listens to this. To please go back to Kitab Allah wa Sunnah to Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. If you want to understand anything about Islam and you want to propagate Islam and you want to uh, have guidance in your light in your in your life from Dhulamatil Nur, wa sallallahu wa sallam ala Nabiya Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbi wa sallam.